Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away our iniquity, cleanse us all from our sin. Thank you. Pray, friends, that this, our sacrifice, may become acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord, you have given us this memorial as the perfect form of worship. Restore us to your peace and prepare us to celebrate the coming of our Savior, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts Amen. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. And Father all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. His future coming was proclaimed by all the prophets. The Virgin Mother bore him in her womb with love beyond all telling. And John the Baptist was his herald and made him known when at last he came. In his love, Christ has filled us with joy as we prepare to celebrate his birth so that when he comes he may find us watching in prayer our hearts filled with wonder and praise. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Father, you are holy indeed. And all creation rightly gives you praise. All life all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age, you gather a people to yourself, so that from east to west a perfect offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts. We ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the cup, Again, he gave you thanks and praise, and he gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ 
will come again. And Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. And grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make us an everlasting gift to you and enable us to share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. And Lord, may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope Benedict, our Bishop Thomas, and all the clergy, and all the entire church, Father, hear the prayers of this family that you have gathered here before you. In mercy and in love, unite all your children, wherever they may be, and welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, from whom all good things come. For it is through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.